Hallelujah. Hallelujah. We want to give glory to God. The beginning and the ending, the Alpha and the Omega. The one that has given us the opportunity to come before his presence today. So many plan to come, but they don't have the opportunity to come. But you and myself, we are here before the Lord. I pray that God will be thanks to our life in Jesus' mighty name. Amen. And for those one who propose to come but they don't come, I pray that God will visit them in Jesus' mighty name. Amen. We want to appreciate everyone for coming to the church. And we pray that the power of God that will manifest his greatness in our life will come upon us in Jesus' mighty name. The word of God that is coming to us today before our revival is when you are faced with opposition, what do you do? We have so many things that can face us, especially in this, this part of the world. If you look at the second lesson, you see that when they, when they were preaching the word of God, they are being opposed everywhere they go to. And if that is the case, or your case, or my case, what do you do when the evil one rises up against you? When people that you believe you listen to the word of God or that you believe are part of the people that are supposed to use, that you are believing together, what do you do? Hallelujah. Are you going to run away or you are going to face it? God is speaking to us in the first lesson, telling us what the children of Israel have done, and which is what we are doing too, that we have left God and we are running after the mammon. We believe by strength we can prevail. We believe our power can do it. We believe things that are not working in our life, we can use our own brain to do it. But that is not what God wants us to see. The difference between this church and every other place or every other church is that God is the one that is working with us. God is the one that is giving us direction. God is the one that is giving us everything that we need. And that is why I said, if you are faced with opposition, what do you do? This is a Bible-believing church, and this is a spirit-filled church. Where when you are faced with one thing that you don't even understand, then God will come your way, whether in the dream of the night, whether through his prophet or prophetess, or through the word of God and tell you what and what you need to do. But if we keep on running after the material thing, if we keep on running after things that are not of God, then where do we find ourselves? Hallelujah. God is speaking to you and is speaking to me that when you are being opposed, when the enemy when they come to you like a wild wind, what do you do? When you are standing in that for people and they are giving you stress, what do you do? Do we run away or do you stand by God? Psalm 24 told us that the earth is the Lord and the fullness thereof. So if everything in this world belongs to God, then why don't we come to that God that can give us all things? Why don't we have the time to what? To work with that God? Why don't we have the time to seek God in all things? Hallelujah. Hallelujah. The same psalm is speaking to us. In Psalm 27, we are looking at when you are opposed, when things are happening differently from what you have, what you are experienced, or what you want what you have been praying for, that what do you do? Do you run away? Do you stay or do you stand? Do you stand it? 
In Psalm 27, then the Lord is our light and salvation. Who shall we fear? The Lord is the refuge and strong of our life. And of who shall we be afraid? Hallelujah. Are you running when they come to you like a wild wind? Or you stand and believe who has called you? Or are you running here and there because of the situation of the country? Or wherever you are, you, you think, ah, if I don't go by this or by this way, then what will happen? God is speaking unto you and unto me today. The only way that we can triumph over the vicissitudes of life is by coming to God. Because he is our light and our salvation. When they, ask, when they come to you to devour your flesh, God will what? Will stand up for you. When they ask you, how are you going to do this? Or how are you going to do that? You don't need to do it by yourself. You need to tell them that my God can do it. And that's why the word of God told us that we can do all things through Christ who strengthen us. And if God can strengthen us and to do all things, then when you are faced with a barrier, or when you are trying to get some things and it's, you are not getting it, what do you need to do? Those are the things we want to look at today. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. The Bible makes us understand that if there is no opposition, there is no glory. Note that. If you are doing something and nobody is opposing you on what you are doing, that thing has no glory. Anytime you stand up to bring forth something that is bigger than your adversaries, they must oppose you. Anytime you stand before your family members or you and tell them, like Joseph, I have a dream that my father and mother and my siblings, they are going to bow down for me. What did they have? Immediately. His brother became his enemy. So, are you now running away because God has given you a very big dream and you have shared it? And then, ah, nobody has done this in your family. Nobody can do this one. Where are you getting this? Are you running away? Because you want to stand by God. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. If this church has no glory, what the church passes through, will have swallowed it up. But because of the glory, it was able to stand. Despite the fact that people are opposing it. People are saying, let this, let's see how they are going to do it. Let's see whether they are going to source it. But God is talking to you, and he's talking to me, that your glory, or those things that is in your hand, can be achieved when you come to God. You cannot do it by your thinking or by your strength. The word of God says that by strength shall no man prevail. So, your uh, people opposing you or people telling you that you cannot achieve or you cannot amount to anything, we should not stop your dream. But you make it what? To stand and face what the enemy is trying to do. Verse 2 of that Psalm 27 did not tell us that they will not rise or they will not come. Verse 2 says something. When the wicked, even my enemies and foes, came upon me to eat of my flesh, they will do what? They will stumble and fell. Hallelujah. The word that I want you to understand is when. It's not saying that maybe they will surely come. Don't run when they come upon you. Don't because of what they told you, ah, it cannot be done. And you decide not to do what ought to fulfill your dream. Your dream is given to you because you are a peculiar person. An only nation. The, you are a real apostle. Yes, nobody, God, you see, God making you unique. And that is why one thing I used to tell my people is that don't compare yourself with another person. And don't crave to have the glory of another person. Ah, 
the type of your glory is what I'm looking for. You are short changing your life. Maybe the glory of that person is just maybe one tenth of what God has what, what, what God wanted, wanted to give you. And you are claiming that. Pray that God let your glory that you have given unto me manifest. And if surely the glory is given unto you, be ready to what? To pass. Hallelujah. I'm not trying to bring you to a place where you want to look ah, which one is the uh, shepherd is saying? If you go to the, 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 the second lesson, you will see that they were being opposed. They are not even their enemy or the, or the Gentiles. People that they are from the same place, the Jews are the ones that what, 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 they were opposing the word of God. Why? The Bible makes us to understand that don't you know that People of our own or our house are the enemy that we need to really, really run away from. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. They try to quench the word of God. They try not to make so that they will not be able to say that Jesus Christ has risen. They want to kill the ministry. But the men and the women of God that God has raised for his church. They kept on preaching. They did not stop. The same thing applies to you. I'm not going to be teaching you about, uh, about what's the story in the Bible. I want to stir your spirit. I want to stir you up to see that what you are carrying can only be achieved by you when you stand firm. So the people that were opposing them did not stop them from what? Preaching the word of God. Likewise, don't let anybody, whatever they have said unto you before, it's going to be what we're going to pray on. Whatever they have told you, oh, you think, who do you think you are? Oh, you came. When did you even come to this country? We that have been here, and they have told you so many things that want to, that want to bring you down. Oh, you want to look at those people? Ah, people have gone far. Where am I? Why am I still not moving forward? I want you to understand. The bigger your glory, the bigger your position. Hallelujah. Yeah. The bigger your, your, what you are carrying, the bigger will be people that will oppose you. So when you are faced, the, the, the spiritual makers will understand that the apostles were faced with stiff opposition. They were faced from preaching the word of God. They were faced from doing the right thing. But did they stop or they kept on? So the, that, the reason why we're using this is just because we want to lift our own spirit and believe that God is able to what? To make us triumph irrespective of whatever the enemy is throwing at us. If you go to verse 3 of Psalm 20, 27, it said that though and us to encamp against me. Hallelujah. How many times do you have a dream and people and you saw when you you, you, saw, you saw people running after you at the, uh, in your in, in the night in your night vision and you, became, you when you wake up you, what you became afraid. Why are they running after you? They know what is in your hand. They know what you are carrying. They, what they want to do is what to bring fear into your life. The only weapon of the enemy is what? Fear. The only weapon that the enemy will use to take away your dream or to thwart your dream is to bring fear across to you. They want you to be afraid. They want you to, to see yourself as not strong enough. They want, you to, they want you to see yourself as not important. They want you to see yourself as you not do it. And once you were able to produce that fear, you will start, you will then you will look at yourself in the mirror of what they have pointed out to you, and then you become afraid. Once they were able to capture you in the fear, then that is the end of that dream. And God is speaking to me that. Don't see the opposition. See your dream and see God that can fulfill it for you. So, it's like, do and do and oath should encamp against me. My heart will not fear. 
God should open us, open our eyes spiritually. You know that they that are for us are more than they that are for them. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. What you need to put into your heart is that confidence, that tenacity that I will receive it and I will source it. No matter what is happening at your workplace, no matter how many people that gang up against you, because the word of God says that they shall surely gather, but it's not of him. They shall surely make that decision, but the word is not for him. But because you are the children of God, you will scatter them for your kids' sake in Jesus' name. God will scatter them for your sake in Jesus' name. No matter how they gang up against you. Just be confident and tell them how many are you? <laughs> Hallelujah. Hallelujah. You just look at them. How many are you? Then you laugh. The only thing you just need to look at is just to see yourself as a conqueror and then sing this song. Baba ni wakati ye. Let us start of one of the Last 
glory. Wherever they come from, where the where from the old where I came up from, or even where I am right now, Father, destroy them. Can you open your mouth and pray? Jehovah, Jesus Christ, only my name. Father, all the gatherings, because your word says that they shall surely gather, but because it's not of you, Father, begin to destroy them. Oh, I want you to pray this prayer. Begin to talk to God. Oh, they are gathering. They shall surely gather. That is what your word says. Father, because of your word, begin to scatter them. In the name of Jesus, begin to scatter them. In the name of Jesus, oh, begin to scatter them. In Jesus, in Jesus, mighty name we pray. I want you to pray this prayer. I want you to put more life into it. Every power that is limiting me. Sometimes you try and something will just drop up and then you have moved ten, ten steps. And then when those things just start up, you, have, you move backward in level steps. That is backwardness. And it's not your portion, Jesus. Imagine it. Do we want to pray, you know? Every power that is limiting me. Every part that's limiting my own, every part that's limiting my husband or my wife or my children, destroy them today. In Jesus' mighty prayer, Jehovah. Jesus Christ, only my God. Father, Lord, in the name of Jesus, every part that is limiting me, in the name of Jesus, every part that is following me all around, that says that I will not move forward, in the name of Jesus, begin to destroy such power. In the name of Jesus, begin to destroy it. In the name of Jesus, every power that says I will not try out. In the name of Jesus, every limitation against my glory, against my own, against the church of God. In the name of Jesus, begin to destroy it. In the name of Jesus, begin to destroy it. In the name of Jesus, begin to destroy it. In the name of Jesus, begin to destroy it. In the name of 
name of Jesus. Oh yeah, sin I give me, sin on the me, sin on shame, sin on shame, shame. Oh la ma paje, oh la paje. Sin in joy, but very can it do for other call. Don't be how my betes wadu. Oh la no no paje su. Oh yeah, you want shout the kufwa. Oh la you want shout the kufwa. Oh la you want shout the kufu joy. In the name of Jesus, Father, we pray every declaration that is not of yours against our destiny, against the destiny of this church. Oh Lord, destroy in Jesus' mighty name we pray. Amen. If you have, if you are a firstborn, because we are going to pray for firstborn, or if you are, if you are not the firstborn, you have your children as firstborn. We want to pray. We want to see you start work that declaration, and I'm going to point out for you why you have to pray that prayer. When Jacob was going, when Jacob was going. He called all his children, and in Genesis chapter 49, <laughs> he gathered them together and he said, because of our time, verse 3, I'm going to read it so that you know how to pray. Because we have done this one several times, and we might not, we might think we're joking, but it's not a joke. Look at what Jacob told Reuben, the firstborn. He said, Reuben, thou art my firstborn. My might, the beginning of my strength, the excellency of my dignity, and the excellency of my power. When it got to verse 4, he said, Unstable as water. And look at a father, what he declared into the life of his son. Thou shall not excel. And that is the first point. It took three hundred years from that day that it was declared into the life of, of that Reuben, it took three hundred years before that yoke was broken every member of Reuben's family, they could not excel. you want to pray Father, Father if there's any war that has been declared to my life as God's born if there's any war that I declare to my the love of my firstborn. Maybe by anger. Maybe he talk to something and say that go go and you release that word. And you think it was a joke. It's not a joke. You want to start breaking that yoke. Father, every yoke in the love of my firstborn. Begin to break it now. Oh, begin I'm so that I'm so that I'm start praying. Start breaking. Start breaking. Oh, break that yoke. Oh, Father, every word that has come out of my mouth into the life of my firstborn.
Moses came into the sea to break the yoke. You want to pray into the life of the husband now. Look at what Reuben, what Moses told Reuben in that verse 6. Let Reuben live and not die. And let not his men be few. Now, you want to call, if you know the name of your sponsor, if you don't know, call my name. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. You want to start again into the life of God of God. Leave, and you will never be few. Every glory that you are carrying, oh, you begin to fulfill it. Oh, you are that. Rah! She over. Jesus Christ, only my girl. I think I'll turn it over my first. So, I'm my first one. You will never be few. You will grow old in the name of Jesus. You will fulfill your destiny in the name of Jesus. If there's any limiting power against your glory, I break it today in the name of Jesus. Father, I take authority and I bring you with somebody else that has caused my firstborn. I take authority and I pray concerning my firstborn. Go and exalt. Go and fulfill your destiny. In the name of Jesus, you will never be limited by any power. No power will limit your glory. No power will limit your life. In the name of Jesus, every power that says that I, I will not eat the fruit of my labor, all that shows far must die today. In the name of Jesus, every power that says that they want to use my children to fight against me, all of the shows so far. In the name of Jesus, as of today, my first food. Go and exalt. Go and fulfill your destiny. If there's any cause, remember by anybody, I destroy such cause. In the name of Jesus. The brother, the brother, the tea on me, I keep on your back in the room. I want to tell you my shirt. So for no, hold on, go on day. 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 In Jesus' mighty name, we pray. You want to pray? Every we, every word that I have been barren, and if there's somebody that is looking for the fruit of the womb among us, or you want to stand in God for that purpose, you will pray and declare it that the word of God says that none of you shall be barren. As from today, every form of barrenness in this church is nullified. As from this moment, every form of barrenness in this church will condemn it. As from today, those people that have been carrying, they have married for years and they couldn't produce. And they now say, ah, how can we, we any big good come out of us? From today, God should open their womb and get a son of bra, Jehovah. Jesus, that's only my dear Father Lord. We call it, we pray for everyone that are buried right now. We, that are looking for the fruit of the womb in this church. Father, open their womb in the name of Jesus. Whether they are here or they are not here, or whether we are standing in the as a gap for them. In the name of Jesus, if there's anything they have done for now that, that shut their womb, in the name of Jesus, begin to open their womb. Begin to open their womb. In the name of Jesus. Father, those people that are bad, we pray that are looking for the fruit of the womb. In the name of Jesus, open their womb. Open their womb. Open their womb. Let there be germination. In the name of Jesus, let them come back and give glory unto you. In this church, Father, and in the love of all our children that are looking for the fruit of the womb. In the name of Jesus, open their womb. In Jesus, mighty name we pray. Now, the third one is for the singles that are still looking. We want to pray. God said, it's not good for the man to be alone. Likewise, it's not good for the woman to be alone. We want to pray for all our youths that are right to have partners, but they don't have any. We want to talk to God. Father, wherever they are, their right partner should locate them. Their right partner should locate them. Ah, they are right partner that would have very, very soon before the end of this year. We want to start doing marriage in this church. Before the end of this year, we want people to our youth to come say, ah, I've seen, ah, I've seen it. Oh yeah, let us declare to the love of our youth, Shibonga. 
Jesus Christ. So he might be a father of for those who are looking for partners in this church or wherever our children are that, 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 that are marriageable. Father, we pray, let them find their partners in the name of Jesus. Father, as from today, let them locate their partner. Let them locate their partner. The right partner for them. In the name of Jesus, let it come their way. In the name of Jesus, we pray. In the name of Jesus, Father, let them locate. Let their partner locate them. In the name of Jesus, before the end of this year, we want to start doing marriages in the church. Father, give us this. Give do this for us, oh Lord. Thank you, Father, for opening. They are uh, giving them their heart's desires in Jesus' mighty name. We pray. Amen. Yes, we want to round up with this one. If you have that, your partner with you, we want to declare into your life and to this church everything we have been doing in this church by striving to be easy for us as of today. Amen. Everything that we want to do, something that we have to be running after ourselves, it's just because it's not, it's not plenty. Once it's plenty, we don't need to run a four person can just stand up. How much are you talking about? Ten thousand? Okay, I will give you fifteen thousand. Go, go and do it. That is what we want to. Do. What what we want to happen in this church? We want to ask for today. Okay, the key support today. As from today, everything that is making us to try to achieve success should should be qualified. As from today, with ease, we shall achieve everything we want to achieve in this country and in our lifetime. Even in this church. Can we open our mouth and pray? Jehovah, Jesus Christ. So you might get far along and pray. Concerning this church, concerning our life, concerning our hope, we will never strive to achieve any good things. In the name of Jesus. Even for people that are not present, that are here there with, with us in the spirit, Father, they will never strive to have any good things. With ease, in the name of Jesus, it shall be our token. In the name of Jesus. Today, they are condemned. Every power that will not allow us to move forward. In the name of Jesus, we destroy it. With ease, we shall achieve success. With ease, we shall move forward. With ease, glory shall come our way. Thank you, Father, for answering our prayers. In Jesus' mighty name, we pray. May the grace of the Father. Of the Son Holy. and of the Holy Ghost, Holy. your word says, As they have whispered in my ear, so shall I do. As we have declared today, Father, do it for us in so much name. Yeah. Let us come back with testimony. Yeah. Thank you, Father, for answering our prayers in Jesus' mighty name. I pray, Amen, Amen, Amen. Seven and the Lord, the Lord. Ha, yeah. Ah, yeah, ah, yeah, ah, yeah.